So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to record high quality video calls using a software called Riverside.fm. Now this is particularly helpful if you guys are recording podcasts or if you want to record video interviews with people virtually. So this is the exact platform that I currently use to record the Charlie Chang show, where we basically do virtual interviews with people. Instead of using Zoom, which is not as good quality, I decided to use Riverside because it allows you to actually record two separate tracks, one track for your video, one track for their video, as well as separate tracks for the audio. So one separate track for my audio, as well as one separate track for their audio. After that, you can really download each of these things, piece them together yourself, or you can use the pre-mixed version of the video that they create for you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so in the description of this video, there's gonna be a link to Riverside. If you guys click on that, it's going to take you to this page. And from here, you can click get started to do a free trial of their platform. So I'm currently signed into my own Riverside account. If you guys wanna learn more about Riverside, I encourage you guys to check out their homepage. They have a lot of information about what this platform can do. But yeah, just to show you guys the pricing, they have a free version. So you guys can actually use this to get a taste of what this platform can do. They have a standard one. So this is the one that I use. This allows you to record up to five hours of separate audio and video tracks per month. And of course, no watermarks or anything like that. They have a pro account and then they also have one for teams. But yeah, basically I'm here in the dashboard of my own Riverside account. And what you guys are gonna want to do is click plus new studio. Let's say you guys are recording an interview with someone and let's say their name is Fred, right? So I'm gonna name this studio Fred X Charlie, maybe you can call it like podcast or something like that. Then I'll select the recording type so you can choose between audio and video or audio only. Let's say I want to film video with this as well so that I can use it on YouTube as well as create a podcast episode with it. So I'll leave it on that. And after that, I can actually enter the studio if you're cool with the default options or you can click continue to set up your studio. So I'm going to click on this just so I can show you guys what you can do to set it up. Basically in here, I can schedule and invite guests. So let's say I want to schedule this. I'm going to select a time for the show or when it's going to be recorded. Let's say I want it on, okay, September 30th at five. Okay, cool. I'll select the time zone. So I'll select Pacific time and then I'll click submit. From here, I'm gonna be able to add participants. So what I recommend doing is add the email of the person that's gonna be on your show. So put their email right here. So that's set there. I can also add more participants and you guys can see you can choose between audience, guest and producer. Here it's gonna show you what each of these things is, right? So with a producer, they can actually adjust the studio settings and they won't be recorded. So they'll be there helping you to sort of moderate and make sure the recording is going okay. You're obviously gonna be the host, so you don't need to invite yourself as the host. Guests are gonna be the people that are recorded, but they don't have any access beyond that. And then if you want to have an audience, these people are gonna be able to join as viewers, but they won't be a part of the call. So yeah, I'll exit that for now and I'll click create show. Cool, so now I'm in that particular studio, which is called Fred X Charlie Podcast. And up here, you're gonna be able to copy the link for the studio to share manually. Or of course, like we said earlier, you can invite people to your studio on the page that we were on before. So you can see there are no recordings yet in the studio since we haven't yet recorded anything. And what I recommend doing first is going to settings over here. Here is gonna be a bunch of things that you guys can change, right? So you can change the studio type, whether you want private or public. You can require guests to wait in the lobby if you want. Here we can play with the recording settings. So for the participant audio recording, if you want to only record audio, you can select that. If you want to use noise reduction, you can select that. You can select the sample rate of the audio. For the video recording, you guys can choose optimized quality or you can choose advanced quality. So if you guys want to choose optimized, then each participant is recorded at a maximum of 720p, but clips are still exported at 1080p, so full HD. Now, if you guys want to record in full HD and 4K, I actually recommend using advanced quality. This is the one that I always use. And if you have a 4K camera, you guys can select up to 4K. You can also use Riverside to do live streams. I haven't used this for that, but you guys can definitely do it. And then for the advanced stuff, I just generally leave these as is. So after that, I'm gonna come here to go to studio. And from here, it's going to ask me to, you know, enter in my name. It's gonna ask if I'm not using headphones or if I am using headphones. From here, you're gonna select the mic input, the camera input, as well as the audio output. 
output. So if everything looks good here, you'll click join the studio. So I can't really show you guys the video here since I'm already using the video to record this. But basically you're gonna be here on this side and you can see it's in a sort of semi half screen, even though the recording is going to be you know full HD in that correct aspect ratio. And then the person that you invite is gonna be on this side. Essentially what you're gonna do is once everyone is ready and everything looks good, you'll click record. It's going to start recording this. And the great thing is that it records both locally on your computer as well as their computer. And it also backs it up to the cloud as you are recording. That way if the call drops, then you aren't going to lose all the data. Now there are some requirements that they have. I think they do require you to be on Chrome and they do also require you to have a certain amount of hard drive space on your computer. But yeah, let me show you guys what it sort of looks like after you record. Um, I did, I'll click on view recordings. I'll go over here and this is basically going to be what they record, right? So there's a full recording. So that's gonna look like this. I'll go back to my studio recording section. And you can also basically download each video track by itself. And now I can click high quality here, or I can actually download backups. These are lower res quality. You can download all participants right here. So this is basically that combined one that looks like this. And you can also edit directly on the Riverside platform. Although I have not yet used that. So yeah, just show you guys a little bit more. If you guys click high quality, it's going to allow you to download the raw video. It's going to allow you to download the raw synced video. So this is basically the video plus the audio file. You can actually download the raw audio by itself or the compressed audio as well. So that's what I really like about this. It gives you a lot of different things you can download. And yeah, if you want to edit these things yourself, then having all these different tracks, audio tracks, as well as video tracks is very, very helpful. If you guys want to see a video that I made using Riverside, I'm going to actually link that down below. And yeah, that's basically how you download high quality videos for your podcast or virtual interviews. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Riverside has been a really great platform that we've used. We have run into some issues with the syncs, right? So sometimes the audio and the video don't sync perfectly. But I think that if you guys want to record the highest quality possible with the most freedom for editing, then a software like Riverside is going to be a lot better than Zoom. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to leave that link down below. It's very affordable. And yeah, if you want to take your virtual podcasts or virtual interviews really seriously, then this is going to be the platform for you. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials, helping you to start your business. Thanks so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.